I don't know what I'm hoping to get out of coming here. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Again? Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah! It was a painting of a fisherman, wasn't it? Oh well. It wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. What's this? Old photos? There are two lines. Something's been written in pencil on the back. DL6 incident. Exhibit A. Whatever else was written here has faded. And then there's this other photo. DL6 incident. Exhibit B. Red white. Red white. Wait a minute. Didn't the bellboy say Miss May had gotten a call from a red white yesterday? This photo might come in handy. I'll take it for now. I'm just borrowing it. I'll return it later. But right now, I need to see if I'm right about something. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I do say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used our wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, about Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Actually, I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? I wonder... Is this the man you saw? That's him, Detective. Um, I'm a lawyer? Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say, Detective, once. You know how it is. No! No, I don't! Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit, swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. But on the other hand... Well, sure. Why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Now I just need to see if I can confirm anything with Miss May. And even she can't play dumb to this. Not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? <sighs> Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? For starters, how did you get so totally whacked? About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room, can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Well, then why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so... cold. So criminal. 
Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to! Could you take a look at something for me? Please. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. <laughs> so get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Regardless, have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you- <coughs> Where did you- Aha! A reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him! This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder! No! No, that's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah! Proof! Show me proof! Take a look at this! Huh? What's that? The Bellboy's affidavit! He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What? Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, I did fine. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Your fists in the air. <clears throat> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man? He's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Carp. Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call them a detective agency. So, this is the man who was with you on the night of the murder. Uh, I'm. I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her! It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White. At last. Finally, a lead on this guy. April May couldn't have done it. That leaves him. Time to take action. What's with the surreal decor? Wait. That painting. Isn't that... Welcome! <laughs> Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the... Your name. What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Um, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? I see. Splendiferous! Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the <laughs> wordily challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Miss April May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She was paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. So, information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. 
I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? On the night of the murder of Mia Fey, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing hmm. that. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. <laughs> the police? The courts? To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there? You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. Wh what? <laughs> uh, he, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Now go, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Ah, <laughs> uh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Ha <laughs> ha! You again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well, you are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial! He was there? Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through me. Maybe. It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. You see, <clears throat> I apologize. Huh? It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. I just got done paying Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? Well, I saw it again. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. 
This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs! As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection! It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay! Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems... so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here on the shelf. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. T. U. V. Huh? The entire W section is missing! Was it taken? Let's see if anything else in this file catches my eye. A. B. F. Misty Fay. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm. It looks like Mia was making a record of something here. I have tarnished the Fay name. Leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite, who makes his fortune on threats and coercion? His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg was... Well, no harm in flipping through the rest, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end in S. Suicide? Ugh. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians... <laughs> Policemen? 
There is writing on most of these in pencil. What? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it! Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one and... Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. But this is the only clue Mia left me. I'd better make it count. Mr. White? See this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them labeled with a single word. White. <laughs> Mr. White. I know what you did to this politician. You were blackmailing him! Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of them. You were involved in all of the suicide cases Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Rock, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office. Hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You are absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I've found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered. And all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... <laughs> Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor? I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder you see, and thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man! What? Mr. White, this isn't another Chief one of those- Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now! Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You will be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir! Ah! Butts! 
Harry Butts! Ugh, right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right! Sorry, pal. Uh, Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Wh what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Wright! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you! This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean... Like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah. Like that, I guess. Alright! Leave it to me! Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Wait, 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 wait! What? what I'm kidding! It was a joke! No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there isn't really anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing! I've got to give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the court tomorrow. Uh, okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two! It's the beginning of a new century. Yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow, the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him.